So this is part two of my Wolfram Alpha videos. So in the first video, what I did was I made the I made the sensors for Home Assistant. So these home these sensors basically would give me the amount of days until the next holiday. So we created sensors that asked Wolfram Alpha how many days until Christmas, Easter, Mother's Day, um, things like that, all the different holidays. It sounds very trivial, but since those holidays move, it was a pretty hard challenge to kind of solve, to get those consistent results. So I wanted to set sensors up that basically you just set it up and then forget it, right? So these should work forever. As long as Wolfram Alpha's APIs keep answering, we'll keep asking, we'll get those results year after year with the correct, with the correct numbers. So now that I have the days until sensor, what I want to do is I want to incorporate that into the speech. The house talks for various reasons. As things happen through the house, it lets us know, gives us notifications. What I like to do to give it a little bit of personality is to give it random things. So these days until sensors are a great addition to that sort of randomness. And what it gives us is something like this. Good afternoon. Guess who is home? Stacy is. And don't forget, there are 45 days until Christmas. So that sounds pretty cool. If you want to know how I'm doing it, uh, stick around to the break. Let's check it out. Let's get into it. So this is the Halloween code. Uh, we don't need this anymore. This works perfectly. What I'd like to see, let's see. This announces the holiday if they're there and tweets it out. Um, but what I want is I want it added to my, my voice, my speech. So I have this file here called briefing, which is basically just all the macros for my voice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here, uh, to holiday and I'm going to make a new one and I'm going to say, we're going to make this one. Uh, days until and we're gonna say I'm trying to think how to kind of randomize it because we have four different holidays and maybe we're gonna have more in the future so I want it to kind of randomly pick one I think unless I want it to look at the actual month um, so I can do that like if it's October I'm gonna do that let me see if I have another Thing here startup month so we see here if month states sensor date split blah 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 perfect so now here what we'll do is we'll say so we know Halloween's always in October so we'll say if month equals October and we'll say there are and that sensor name is so we're gonna grab this Oops. And we're going to say dot state. I believe this works. Let's just double check. We're going to go to template 25. Okay, perfect. There are 25 days until Halloween. Perfect. And then we're going to say, so just like up here, we're going to do the else if if and then we're going to say we're going to say if month equals december this will be our christmas one there are mother's day is always in may so mother's day so it's tricky you definitely don't want single quotes in these things um it just messes it up mother's day I guess we need to add in Father's Day, of course. So May, June, I think these are basically the ones the kids like to hear about. So we'll just make this one if. So these will pop up just during these four months. You can always just do a generic else at the end uh, to just like a capture all and then do something random. I may visit that again, so be sure to check my repo to see the latest code, whatever I decide after this video. Perfect, let's go back and add in Father's Day. 
So that's back to our holiday one. Outstanding. Save this. We're gonna jump back to Home Assistant just to verify that. So again, HA user, and then we're gonna do a git update. So this not only verifies it against my uh, Home Assistant configuration and the new version, but also will upload it to the git repo. So this way you can just go to the GitHub and you can see all of the latest code. That comes back nice and clean. Additional update for Father's Day, and that was 288. Perfect. Let's jump back here. Let's go back to our day sensors. Uh, refresh this. Shoot on all the way to the bottom so you'll see all the additions that we just added in, and we will close this item out. Actually, I'm gonna close it once I finish and publish this video, and I'll write up a blog post for this as well. If you haven't seen my blog, be sure to check it out here. And if you haven't checked out my YouTube channel, which you're on my YouTube channel now, so just give it a subscribe and I will see you in the next video.